What is up guys and welcome back to the Doc Mac car channel. Today, what I'm going to show you is what a flashing check engine light means on your dash cluster. So if I turn on the vehicle by sticking in the key, turning it into the run position, you can see that this little light is on. When you turn on the vehicle like I'm going to do now, it should go off. There you can see it's gone off. However, what I'm going to discuss today is if that light remains solid on like that that would mean that the engine has stored a code and something has happened and it does require attention however if it's a flashing check engine light it is a serious issue and if you can do so pull over and stop the car safely now what this flashing check engine light if it's actually flashing this one isn't at the moment but if it does that means it's a potential misfire in the engine and what that means is it can damage your catalytic converter as well as your oxygen sensors as well. Now, what this also can cause, it, it can send unburnt fuel from the engine directly into the exhaust manifold and therefore it can actually cause some damage to your oxygen sensors as well as your catalytic converter. Now, the catalytic converter can be very expensive to replace so let's hope you never have to get into that. So now there are many, many causes which can cause this, such as a bad fuel pump, a bad fuel injector, bad fuel filter, or a bad engine timing. So the one I'm going to discuss today is how to check the basic engine misfire things. And most of the times it is caused by an engine code called P030 and then followed by a number. That last number will be corresponding to the cylinder number of the engine let me show you what i mean all right guys so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull out this spark plug first now if at all you guys are getting let's say the misfire code of p0301 that would refer to cylinder number one having the misfire so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one of the 10 millimeter ratchet and wrench and a socket piece. All right, so this is what your is called your ignition coil and this is your ignition lead. What you're going to do is you're going to pull that one out. And what you need to do is you need to press on this and then you should be able to unplug this. Now, let's say if your cylinder number one is misfiring, it could be the ignition coil, which is the issue. So if at all, you do not have any other ignition coils to test it with, what you can do is you can put cylinder number one's ignition coil into number two and number two into number one. If at all the OBT2 reader reads it, number two cylinder number two which is a p0302 at fault then the issue is most likely your ignition coil and you need to change it if it doesn't move then it's either your ignition lead or the spark plug in the spark plug hole itself what you can do is take the spark plug out and then inspect the spark plugs to make sure that the electrode is not built up with any carbon that can also cause issues like this. I would love to remove the spark plug, but this is, I do not normally work on this vehicle. This is a friend of a friend of mine's car. So I don't have that particular size at the moment. Now I'll give you directions on what you can do. You can either change the spark plug and then put it back in, put the ignition coil back in and see if that fixes the issue. All right, guys, in case the issue still remains on cylinder number one, and replacing the spark plug doesn't fix it what you can do is you can then plug this one back the ignition lead into the ignition coil and you can then put a spark plug at the end of here where the ceramic part goes in and the electrode part sticks out when you stop the engine make sure you don't go near it but you should see it sparking if it doesn't spark that means you have got a sparking issue so then it is most likely the ignition lead, which is the one at fault. 
Now that is one of the most common issues of a misfire in the engine. There are lots of other reasons that could cause the engine misfire, but it's too much to describe in one video. So that is the best way that you can save your money from getting a technician to look at it. This is one of the most likely chances that you are having a check engine light flash. You need to fit this plug back in, in this hole, tighten it to the proper specifications. And then you need to put the ignition coil back in like so, and you'll need to clip this one in like so and then we're going to push it back into the hole and we're going to put the 10 millimeter screw back in here i hope this video has been informative and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and please check out my other videos as well